And I don't have to. I know the law. I took law school at UCLA, so I don't gotta show ID. Wait. What you gonna do if I don't give you to you? No. For no, what? You can't, you can't do you that. Identify yourself. You gonna no, take you me to jail for what? No, no, under no, under no, what no, law? No. Under what penal code? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel San Joaquin Jr. Today's video is from the channel that goes by the name Sherlock. This video takes place in American Fork, Utah and then involves the American Fork Police Department. More specifically, it involves officers Hansen, Call, and Maxfield. On October 7th, 2022, this man and his girlfriend were trying to make a transaction at their local bank and there was a disagreement. Well, the bank decides to call the police over this disagreement. Keep in mind, there was no inclination for the police to believe that this was the man that was involved in the so-called disagreement. As he's walking out of the bank, he is met by these officers who stop him and start demanding his ID. While these two officers are here, Officer Maxfield heads inside to get this bank story. That's when this guy pulls his phone out to record these officers. Oh, well, I gotta sh show my ID. Cause I don't have to, I know the law. I took law school at UCLA, so I don't gotta show ID. It's a call out here. They got my information. If you need it, you can get it from them. I'm not giving you nothing. Personally, what you gonna do? Wait. What you gonna do if I don't give you to me? Take you to jail. For no, what? You, you can't do you that. Identify yourself. You gonna no, take me to jail for what? No, under no, under no, what no, law? No. Under what penal code? Hold oh, on, no. back up, T. I got this. Under like, what penal no, code? Because he's doing extra. Bro, he's... Under under what penal code do I gotta show you my ID? Cause I don't have to. Cause I'm a constitutionalist and I don't want to go deep into this, bro. I don't have to really show you my ID. Go ahead. I'll give you that minute. Okay. Thirty nine seconds left. Go ahead. We're called here to investigate a possible crime. Okay. A possible crime at Key Bank. Okay. Right. Go ahead. I'm, we got called doing disturbance, disturbing the peace. Okay. Okay. So I have to identify all parties involved for state call. code. Okay. All I need is a, your ID, and that's it, dude. Well, Where's I got to give you my ID. They got my information. I don't need it from them. I get it from them. them. You gonna get it from them anyway? You just told the branch manager I'm gonna come back in here and talk to you. You guys are racist bro and you're not finna take me to jail because i'll sue you bro you're not that's what you're not finna do i'm not on parole i'm not on probation i don't got warrants it's not happening i'm not letting you touch me i'm tired of y'all police is touching black you people you put your hands on me see what happened hey, oh my mom touch me see what happened we're we gonna turn this up put go your hands on me and see what i don't give i don't give a this nigga out that's what he wants you to do i don't care about none of that i don't care about no gun that's 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 you hide behind that gun you want to take that badge off and get in no, like a real man? No. no we want to take your ID. You no. get out I'm not here. getting my ID. Call it. No. Call it. I give it to the watch commander. Call him out here. I give it to him. I don't, I don't like how y'all approach. Get away from my wife, bro. Back up off my wife, bro. Back up. Get away. Back up off of her. Back up off of her. Get in the car, T. Call it. Can, can we get the watch but commander out here, please? You or do none of that. Can we get the watch? Tania, go to the car. Can we get the watch commander out here, please? I give him my ID. I give him my ID because it, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to give him my ID. Because I don't like how y'all approach the situation. Tania, stop talking to the pop. Get in the car. Get in the car and record. You ain't got to say nothing to him. You ain't got to say nothing to this man. If you can get the chief out here, I'd die. I'd die. Well, not now, I'm not sure if I agree with this man's whole sentiment of the watch commander being more reasonable but he is right in the sense of that these officers did not assess the situation properly. They could have easily questioned the bank teller about the situation and if they wished to file charges and give them this man's information. At first, they failed to articulate exactly what crime it is they suspect this man of committing. Then when they do finally state that disturbing the peace was the call, they failed to actually provide evidence that this was their guy. The banks have surveillance going 24-7, so it's really as simple as taking a look at the footage, gathering all evidence and statements, and then addressing the other party. Unfortunately, that makes too much sense, and we all know by now police lack any common sense or situational awareness. This man has every right to be angry, but I hope that if a supervisor or watch commander does show up, that he does not surrender his ID. I'll talk to the chief later. I, just like I told you, I know his nephew. I have a personal relationship with the chief of American Forks nephew. Like literally, I work with him. So I can talk to him on another, I can talk to him on a personal level. If that's, I got his number in my phone, so I'm not worrying about that. But if we can get the watch commander out here, please, I, I, 
I feel much better because okay. it's somebody with rank that's here. Let me see if I can get my sergeant here. Please, I know sergeant is busy, okay. but we need him out here, but, bro. But if he's not available, he might be in another call. Hey, bro, didn't they give you? Didn't they give you my information in this bank? You gonna go in there and get it anyway? Cause you gonna think I'm lying. You gonna, I'm gonna give you my ID, and you gonna go in there, and you gonna get the information from them. Okay. Tell them to get my motherfucking I money, I man. I ain't got one. Now, I, write down your name some, all right, look, check this out. Somebody stole my stuff in Saratoga. I tried to file a police report at Saratoga. They said there wasn't no cameras. There wasn't no cameras, and there wasn't nothing to identify that somebody broke into my car and took my stuff. So, therefore, sir, I have to go back to Draper to go to the DMV for my... Number? Yep, I sure do. Can you read my chicken scratch? Yeah. 22 AF 07. So why 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 would you write it like that? You think I'm a piece of shit? Can you write write that different? Write that perfectly, please. I've written it. You can have it. No, I want it. Okay. I already got a video of it. Okay. I'm not trying to get. I'm, I'm man. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. So can I just write down your name and we call it good? That's no. Because you want to have it in your log, and he's threatening to take me to jail. What you gonna take me to jail for, bro? I ain't committed no crime. State code that you have to identify yourself. Show me. Show me and I give you my ID. Pull it up on one of y'all phones. Don't pull it up in my little book. Show me and I give and I give you my name and date of birth. Read you off the code. I, I want to see it and I give you my name well, and date of birth. There's also another crime that really would what's, hit you for. It's what's the crime? Commercial obstruction. How? It's causing problems to this business. I'm it's not causing problems. No, I'm not. I came here yesterday and I had all peace. And Check the cameras. Fuck that. But there's a I don't fuck that here, law. Right? Man, you're not going to charge me with shit, bro. Show me. Can I see that? No. Can I see it? Can I see it? Let's let's see this. Let's see this. Failure to give driver's license upon request by PO. Okay, it's in there. Unfortunately, that's where the video ends. I'm inclined to believe that this guy, in fact, did not ID himself and walked away from the situation without being put in handcuffs. These officers had to think that they probably profiled the wrong guy here as soon as he started challenging their demands for ID. Now, it is entirely possible that these officers did get his information from the bank and that's why they were willing to just drop the situation and hand this man a citation. Either scenario is plausible and probable, but what is for certain is that this man properly exercised his first, fourth, and fifth amendment rights. For that, I ask that you all head on over to his channel, Sherlock, subscribe, and let him know San Joaquin Jr. sent you over. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. First amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind. I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine. Pay them tax dollars, I put in some overtime. I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime. We cop watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing. Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running. And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch.